Dylan's well over three years old and he's still not potty trained. There's certainly an issue here. He will not use the restroom. He will hold it. He'll scream. I can't hold it anymore. I need a diaper. And dinner was like a broken record. Diaper, 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 diaper. Diaper. Come on. Mommy, diaper. Come on. Diaper. Let's go. So what is it you're doing now? Diaper. Give him a diaper. Diaper. Do you have to go poop or pee pee? Diaper. Do you have to go poop or do you have to go pee? Diaper. Dylan, do you have to go poop -poo or pee pee? So I instantly had given in, put the diaper on him. He walks out right in front of Joe, and he says, I'm peeing now. I pee my diaper, Mom. I was pretty embarrassed. You think you could go pee in the potty now? Yes, I think so. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. And after Dylan peed, he got the potty out. Well, he's hardly going to use it now, is he? I can't pee? You can. You could try. I can't. Why can't you? Oh, I can't. It's little. What's little? <laughs> it doesn't mean you can't go pee in the potty, buddy. Yeah. You went pee-pee in this diaper. It's all yucky. The parents have become very complacent. It's convenient for them to place a diaper on Dylan, and he's become comfortable with that, and so have they. You know, you could sit down and go pee-pees? Yeah. Why not? I can't. I Does he can't. generally stand up and go for a pee in the grown-up toilet? Oh, he's stands there but he's never actually done it they believe that he's scared of sitting on the potty and the toilet and i don't it's going to be very important for dylan during the day that we get rid of the diapers because it's been confusing for him in the past he's going to make a choice to go to the toilet or to end up peeing in his pants and when he does it's not about scolding him it's about looking at him and saying well, that was really silly wasn't it you know where you go you don't get your diaper until the evening. I'm a little worried to go all in and that's it for potty training because I know Dylan's going to be dragging on my leg and please give me a diaper. No, you no, you no, you no. Listen, it's just some underwear. You won't ever let me put them on. Take the diaper away. Diaper! Diaper, Mom! We're, we're not doing diapers, Dylan. We're done with the diapers. We're all done with the diapers. No. If you want to choose some underpants, they're right here. You can put them on. Okay. Do you want to go sit on the toilet? No, do you want to? Okay. These are the choices. Let's go try it. No try either. If you want to go for a poo, you can sit on the potty, Dylan, or you can sit on the toilet. We're not trying to do it. This is what we do. Would you like to go poo in the potty or the toilet? Let's go. All right, Mummy, take it then. Mummy, take it. Put it in the bathroom. Do I just let him go, or...? Okay. Yeah, this is just all attention. Right. No, I win. I will put your pants on, if you... But we need to put your underwear on. No! No, I win! This is what winds you up when he's in your face. Oh, absolutely. So just tell him, I've look, I've already told you. If you want your pants, you go bring some underwear and I will put them on you. No, I'm can't. not going to do this I right now. Away. Stand up for a minute. I'm just going to show you. We've already spoke about this. If you want to go outside, go and get some underwear. You can put your pants on and then we can go out to play. Stop this faffing around. No! Go and play somewhere else. Go away, please. No, no. please. Go away, please. No shouting. If you want to talk to Mummy, no shouting. He's Oscar worthy, isn't he, this little one? Look. Would you like to get your underwear and your pants on? Good okay. boy. Did you pick out a pair of underwear? No. Okay, well, then we're not putting the pants on. 
Okay, which ones do you like? Dylan realized that we were saying the same thing over and over again and no one was budging. Would you like to put them on now? I'm going to go eat dinner. Look at that. These are fabulous underwear. Now let's go get your pants. When Dylan finally put underwear on, I wanted to like, hooray out the window. It's a major accomplishment. So I was completely shocked. I really honestly did not think he would put underwear on. Let's go sit down as the family at the table. So far, we've got him in underwear. I believe that if we can literally get him from underwear to sitting on the toilet, actually taking a pee, then we are really making progress. Dylan, come in for it. I'm not going to make you sit on the toilet. No. I'm not going to make you sit on it. To get Dylan another step closer to using the toilet, I took him into the bathroom to explain this is where we go. Mummy and Daddy sit on this potty and their bottoms go here. But if Daddy tried to sit on this one, it's too small. But it will fit your bottom. If you want to, you can go on this one or you can go on this one. But you must go on the potty, not in your pants, because you're a big boy now. And big boys go in the potty. Now that we'd established where you go for a pee, we just had to hang out and wait until Dylan needed to go so that Dad would have a chance to perform that step. Dylan started to grab at himself, so I took Dylan into the potty and put him down, and he started having a little bit of a fit. Mm-hmm. Let it go. Let it go. Dylan was fighting it tooth and nail. He didn't just want to let go and go for a pee. And so I had Dad refocus him so that he could relax. Why don't you just go? <laughs> what I think I'd like you to do as well is to sit him on that big potty like that and then talk to him about something else. If he starts to scream, just very casually say, no screaming, listen to Daddy, because Daddy wants to tell you a story. It's really about being low key. We shouldn't be making a big fuss about this. It's about him just being in a place where he feels comfortable enough to sit on the toilet and do what every other one of his family members does. You want to hear my story? So the big boat had a big elephant in it, and they sailed all the way across the ocean. And then they came into port, and there was all little houses on the hills, and you could see people running and playing, and a little boy just like you. And a little girl like your sister came up to the dock because their daddy bought him a big elephant. I could see that that was actually having a really good response with Dylan. He started to quieten down. And they walked it up the hill, and every time the <laughs> elephant stepped like this, the bell went boom, 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 <laughs> boom. And it looked with its happy face and was like, Bleh. Within a few seconds, he was totally distracted from, you know, holding back. And the next thing we know, he's peeing in the potty. Did you pee? Let's check it out. And actually, you did pee. To see it work, it felt really good, I think, for both of us. Do you feel a little better? Did you tell me you feel better? Kevin did an absolutely excellent job. It was a real big breakthrough. Tiana was just being defiant, so I left her in the timeout and I walked away. And then I saw her peeing on the floor. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh no, what do I do now? When I walked in, Deanna had wet herself. Oh, just in time. I knew that was on purpose, because Deanna's potty trained, and she doesn't have accidents. Oh, and she's decided to be defiant and go for a pee. Mm -hmm. Oh, she can stay in those wet knickers for a bit as well, and she can feel what that feels like. I was so grateful that JoJo was there, because she was able to see now with her own eyes, and then tell me exactly how to address the situation. Quite frankly, Taking a pee on the floor is basically flipping you the bird. Deanna really needs to shape up with her behavior. And so it was very important to coach Adele again through that process. When you're asking for your apology, it's not a case of just say the word sorry. Right, it's meaning and, and it means you can get out. It's like, you owe me an apology. Right. Like, I really feel like you did wrong. She knows what she does, and she chooses to push the boundaries with you, and it's gotta be tough. That wall's got to be brick, not made of straw. Right. And that's what we're doing here. So go back with a firm voice and actually tell her, you need to tell Mummy you're sorry. Deanna, turn, turn around, around and please. look at Mummy. You need to tell Mommy that you are sorry. OK, Mommy is not happy with your behavior. So you see this pee-pee on the floor? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. 
okay? I want an apology now. I want to hear you say you're sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Eventually, we did see Deanna back down and apologize for her behavior. And of course, she was given the talk with regards to her pee in herself. This behavior is unacceptable. Pee pee on the floor. You understand? You're going to go to bed early tonight. Had it been the old me, I would have certainly been shaken by it. But I have this confidence within myself. You bring your clothes upstairs, and you're going to put them in the hamper right now. I am very proud of myself. Mommy's got to go, OK? That evening, it was time for Mum to go off to work and leave the kids with Dad. The one thing is, is like, they've been playing outside all day, and they're dirty. Mommy. He doesn't do bath. He doesn't do bath? No. Who does bath? I only give him baths. He's never given do anybody bath. a bath. You don't do bath? No. He never has. It's too, uh, too stressful. Stress? But it's all right for Mum to have to bath these kids before she goes off to work. What about a little bit of teamwork? Bye, honey. Good luck. Thanks. All right, good night, guys. I'll see you later. Mum was barely out of the door when these kids started to kick off, and it just made me realize that Dad is way out of his depth. Whoa, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Why are we doing this here? Come on. Now I'm chasing them, trying to grab one, pull the one, trying to grab the other one. It's very frustrating. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is this like this? What is that? I don't know, it's water. It smells like pee-pees. This is you pee in here. All right, get out of here. Get out. Stop. Can I it? Oh, stop it. Leave it alone. I smell it like No, get out of here. All right, no more throwing stuff. No more throwing stuff at each other. Come on. I tell you, I felt dizzy watching this dad. I mean, he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. Certainly got me work cut out here. Fire! Timmy, what did I just say? He just threw something at me. Stop it. Eventually, Dad just surrendered. Time for bed. Let's go. No! Quite frankly, I've seen enough, and I really do hope that Mum and Dad are ready for this, because tomorrow I'm putting law and order into this house. Is um, Caitlin still in the diaper? She's still in a diaper. She's three and a half. She should be... Totally... And she's not out of diapers during the day? No. Right, the next thing I wanted to tackle was getting Caitlin out of those diapers. What exactly is happening at the moment with Caitlin's potty training? Kathy and Donna definitely need to be on the same page with potty training so that they don't give Caitlin mixed messages. I keep diapers on her during the day. She doesn't want to be in the diapers because she takes them off during the day and tells me throw them away. Then okay. other days she'll take and want to wear them because she doesn't know what's right. Right. What I'm hearing is inconsistency. That's why we haven't made progress with Caitlin. I started to potty train Caitlin, but a lot of it was because I really didn't have the time. It was just easier to put her in a diaper. We're gonna do potty training. What do we need on that checklist? Well, we do need plenty of panties. Right. Yeah, that's right. for sure. And we need to be realistic with the fact that there may be some accidents. Right. The next thing we wanna be able to do is to be able to give these fun little rewards for when they do go to the potty. And I think they're a great fun little idea that you give them a smiley face and you tell them how pleased you are. So we've got the potty here. We'll give her the option there, she can use it or not. And we'll place it into the bathroom. Now in case she decides she doesn't want to use the potty, then we'll use the toilet. I don't need to be sat down and step by step, this is a potty seat and this is the underwear, this is the shirts, this is what you do. I don't need that, I know what to do. What we need from both of you is to be consistent. Now we needed to tell Caitlin that she was going to move along and get out of those diapers. Are you going to put one on now? Are you going to put some panties on? Great. OK, you choose. What panties are you going to put on now? Look. It was important for Mum to teach Caitlin exactly what to do when she needed to go potty. Every time you have to go to the potty, you can either go on the big girl potty or you can go on your very own potty. Now that everybody was on the same page with potty training, we just had to wait for that very special moment. And soon enough, Caitlin peeps her head around that bathroom. Caitlin! Caitlin, wait! Oh my word! Do you do potty? You did very, very good. We always wash our hands. Caitlin was very proud of herself. So I just hope we don't see her in diapers anymore. Do you know why Mummy gave you that sticker? Why? Because you did a wee-wee. 
I'm calling the potty. He's a big girl. Mommy! One side. I don't Go, go in and go. Where's our pants? Good girl! You want a sticker? Throw it up. Yes, Ruth, you got a sticker. Good girl. Love the encouragement there. Hi, girls. Caitlin. Hey, pretty hey, girl. girl. Hi. Caitlin, tell mommy what you did on the party. Donna, Kathy, what a positive change. You're communicating. You smell poo poo. What are you talking about? You smell poo poo. Do you have poo poo? No. He's got poo poo. In his underwear? Again? You got some poo poo in there, buddy. Before the babies arrived, I was resolved that Bo, our three year old, was gonna get potty trained. You gotta go poo poo on the potty. Oh my god. He refused. Now there's poo poo in the water. Usually when he hides behind that table, he's going poo. Yeah, I'm over this. Has there been any regression? Yes, there has been regression, yes. We got Bo to the point with potty training where he was going on the potty, you know, every day, and then he started going in his underwear. Regression is very common with toddlers when there are newborns around. It's basically when the older child goes back to behaving how they did when they were younger. And no sooner had Wendy told me about Bo's potty training problems, Dan caught him in the act. What are you doing in the office? Dad, Come on out of there. Please go away from me. Are you going poo-poo? No. Let's go on the potty. Hey, Dad. Let's go to the potty. <laughs> oh, you have to Buddy, go away. Buddy, I think you're going yeah. poo-poo right now. Come I'm on, let's go to the potty. I am almost, Please. I am almost done. Dan hates changing diapers. I mean, it makes him gag. Oh, Bowie. <laughs> oh, boy. This is horrifying, buddy. Come on. These aren't real accidents that Bo is having because he's already been potty trained. He's just regressing because he knows he can get mum and dad's attention because right now they're giving it all to the newborns. You know what? If you didn't have man-sized poops, it wouldn't be so disgusting. Poo-poo in your diaper? No. Really? Mm -hmm. Let me have a look, okay? Because if you're dirty, I want to change you. You have a big load in your diaper. Mm -hmm. Let's take off the dirty diaper. Come on. This is where diapers are changed. But why? And you're wearing a diaper. I'm wearing a diaper. Why? It's because you demand that you're not going to go poo-poo on the potty. Okay, we're good at that now, Dan. Yeah. So we need to start the slate clean again with this. And what I'm going to do is just very clearly give you some guidelines that I want you to just be able to start from the beginning and finish. Now, obviously, the, the newborns have come into the family and, and the boys are, are wondering where they are in the mix of all of this. You know, oh, we were the apple here and we've fallen off the cart, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's adjustment for everyone, not only for yourselves, but for the toddlers as well. And what we see is the potty training. It's not something that we have to over be dramatic about, but it's there. It's a natural thing for some children that occurs when there are new additions into the family. So I want to be able to leave them with a few tips for when I'm gone. He feels ashamed now. Oh, he lies because he doesn't want to get into trouble. And that's because we've gone the route of being nice and then scolding him for doing that, you know? He speak to Bo. Like the big boy he is, because he's very capable and able to go to the toilet. No doing poo-poos in your pants. You're a big boy now, okay? So that he realizes that you know that he can do. You're gonna go to the party? Are you, Are you gonna go to the party? No. Just after I explained it, Bo got up and he marched straight into the bathroom. It was great and a real surprise. Oh my goodness, you're on the potty. What a big boy. He, he surprised me by getting in there and doing his business. Yay! Wow, Bowie. Well done. My little Bo listens to everything, and he wanted to show everybody what a big boy he was. And I was so proud of him. I really was. With Grandma gone, it was time to get these kids to back their age and wipe their own bottoms. <laughs> And right away, Eden gave me the chance to show Mum exactly how. 
Oh, this is great. Yes, Eden. Oh, this is, is good. What is, was she, is she old enough to wipe herself after it, she poops? Oh, yeah. We've got a five-year-old who's struggling to wipe her own bottom. I just thought that was crazy. OK, this is what you want to do. Don't wipe her bottom. She's got to learn to do it herself, OK? okay. Go in there, OK? And then tell her what to do, okay. all, right? all right? What I would do as well is that I would keep some, like, wet wipes as well. There are some in, in there. there. Great. All yeah. right, let's go okay. and do it. All right. Come out and tell me that you haven't done it, OK? <laughs> she needs to learn to do it herself. OK. <laughs> yes, Eden. Had mum in the bathroom teaching Eden how to okay. take care of herself on her own accord. Which was quite funny, actually, listening to her through that door. Hey, don't come out to the right. I'm going to teach you how to wipe. Now pull out one wipe. Remember front to back. OK. <laughs> I'm often asked, when should a child wipe their own bottom? Typically between three and four years old. And Eden's almost five years old, so she's way overdue. Do you know how many American houses I've been into where the kids don't wipe their own butt? It's quite interesting. You know, you want to make sure they're clean and you want to make sure, that, you know, they've got good hygiene and they're taking care of themselves, but sometimes you don't think they're ready to do that, so you're just doing it for them. Good job. Good job, Eden. Good job. She said, I can't believe I wiped myself. Before Gary's wife, Jennifer, had passed away, she had successfully taught the two older boys how to be potty trained. And now Dylan's three years old, and potty time is here. Look what we've got here. Big boy pants! Big boy pants! <laughs> ah, big boy pants! <laughs> the first thing we really need to do is to get Dylan excited about being potty trained. And he was very happy when he realised that he was going to be wearing big boy underwear. Oh, you know what? All these are falling down already. Let's just that dig more. <laughs> but when I said to Dad, take the diaper off, put his big underwear on, he put up a fight. <laughs> Dylan really was upset about taking his diaper off and putting the big boy pants on. Just say, look, you know, just cut it out. Behave yourself. <laughs> yes. Well done. Once we got Dylan into his big boy underwear, we just needed to frequently ask him if he needed to go and then wait. You have to pee? Yeah. All right, let's go. A little while later, Dylan told his dad that he needed to go for a pee. And at that stage, I said to dad to just keep it very casual and just get him onto the toilet. Oh, I can't pee. You want to sit down? No, I can't pee. I think you probably could if you tried. But then Dylan suddenly changed his mind. I don't want to sit down. Let's just try it, buddy. No! No! I didn't want it to turn into a fight or for Dad to try and force him to go, but it was really important that Dylan understand this is where he needs to go. You need to tell me where P goes before you can get out of here. I don't know. Well, you need to know. I don't know. This is a big change, and kids will resist at times, but this is where you need to stand your ground. That's OK. I understand that, Dylan. You've told me. <laughs> See, that to me is just pure defiance. Answer my question. No! He ended up being in there for probably a good 10 or 15 minutes before he finally relented. You need to go pee pee and poo poo. Where do we go? In the party. Good. Okay, scared. you can't out go in your underwear. If you do it in your underwear, I will not be happy. You understand that? Yeah. Dylan did finally acknowledge that he knew where he needed to go. So now we've just got to wait for nature to call and let him follow through on it. In the meantime, I do have a project for Dad. I know from talking to the boys and Gary in observation, it's incredibly important that we keep the spirit of Jennifer alive. And so I've asked Dad to collect photos from his computer to put onto a DVD to show the whole family. Then we could sit like on the sofa and just see yeah. these different images and yeah, you no, could just give a one-liner about them, you know? I absolutely can. Gary's a really keen photographer. He's got some amazing photos on his computer. <laughs> I love it. Once I see, it brings stories back. And now I remember that day completely. Dad made the DVD, but before we had a chance to show the whole family, Dylan had an announcement. I can't go pee. Come on down, buddy. I just Dylan. Don't want to pee. If you can't pee, you need to sit for a couple of minutes. I just don't want to pee. 
OK, well, then you need to sit for a couple of minutes. You go and I'll come back and see you in a minute. I didn't want Dylan to feel pressured, so I asked Dad, just give him a little bit of space and back off. And what do you know? As Dad walked away into the kitchen, he called out. Oh, Dad, I peed! Did you pee? Yeah! You did? <gasps> He'd gone for a pee, which was victory, obviously. You're happy! Good job, buddy! You made me so happy. Well done, oh. Dylan. I'm a big boy now. Watch the toilet. Say bye, Pee-Pee. Bye, Pee-Pee. It's the smallest thing, but it's a very proud moment in any parent's life. Yeah.